we are asked to determine if the two linear functions are inverses of one another. Remember, inverse functions undo each other. So looking at the two functions, we have f of x equals four x plus three, and g of x equals x divided by four minus three. So by looking at the operations of the two functions, it does appear as if they would undo each other because notice how the function f multiplies the input by four and then adds three, and the function g of x divides the input by four and subtracts three. But if functions are inverses, f of g of x must equal x, and g of f of x must equal x. And graphically, the two functions must also be reflections across the line y equals x. So to check to see if these are inverses, let's first determine the composition f of g of x. We will first substitute x divided by four minus three for g of x which gives us f of the quantity x divided by four minus three. And now the input into the function f is going to be x divided by four minus three. And because f of x equals four x plus three, f of the quantity x divided by four minus three is going to be four times the quantity x divided by four minus three. And then we still have plus three. And now let's simplify and see if we get x. If we get x, then we'll also have to check g of f of x. If we don't get x, we are done. The two functions are not inverses. So let's go ahead and distribute the four to clear the parentheses. Four times x divided by four is x. Four times negative three is negative 12, giving us minus 12, and then we have plus three. Negative 12 plus three is negative nine. f of g of x is x minus nine. And since f of g of x does not equal x, the functions are not inverses. So we can't always tell whether functions are inverses just by looking at their operations. And because f of g of x did not equal x, we don't have to check g of f of x. But before we go, let's take a look at the graph of f of x and g of x on the coordinate plane, as well as the line y equals x f of x is graphed in blue, g of x is graphed in red, and y equals x is graphed in green. Notice how if we were to fold f of x across the line y equals x, it would not match up perfectly with g of x, which graphically shows the functions are not inverses of one another. I hope you found this helpful.